Hey, I'm Just Vosco and this is Just Gear City. Now, last time we left off, we've got a few things in the works, few engines, few gearboxes, things like that. Our new factory is done. We are uh, selling out into um, Asia now. So if we go to district sales, uh, Asia, we've sold 26 million pounds worth of cars. Not bad for 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 how long it's been open. We can We can improve that, hopefully. Uh, we definitely need to look at South America as well that we could get into there Australia maybe Now we've got a factory sort of sort of over that way sort of uh, let's have a look. I presume we can ship from Shanghai to Australia. That's what I'm guessing So we should probably look at expanding our sales I want, There's a large amount of people there, so we're gonna Wait, I want you all the way to the top, please. Thank you. Build a branch there. Um, I'm just looking for large quantities. We could build a branch there. I'm going to make that branch a Swift Motors. There we go. Lovely. Um, what quantities of people do we have there? Loads of people. Let's build that branch. And here, not so many. Australia. Not a great amount at the moment. Oh, ooh, Melbourne, Sydney, maybe. So we definitely need some there. So if I build a a branch, oh, no, 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 I want to go here. Stop it. Sydney branch. What? 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 Do I have branches there already? All of Australia has got branches in. Really? Redesign? Okay, so let's redesign the two big places. Um, branch distribution. No, I don't want distribution. I want uh, redesign. So are we not selling? We've got branches there, but we're not selling. Is that what we're saying? Huh. Like, can we not ship from here? Factories. How do I do shipping distance? Branch. Huh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Distribution. Shipping distance is locked. Why? Uh, these buttons allow you to make adjustments to the selected vehicles. Uh, applies, applies to all, removes. Yes, but why are they locked? Allow me to use them. So wait, 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 wait. We've always had branches in Australia, but we're not selling anything, right? Wait, let me just double check. There's actually cars being sold there. So if we go to the branch, we're going to go uh, distribution. They have got all of our cars listed there. So we're going to go to reports. We're going to go city, no, district sales. Aust oh, we are selling. They are selling. We sold 825, which is not a lot. So we could upgrade those, those uh, branches. So we're going to redesign that one. No, redesign. You're already redesigned. Oh, I've already re redesigned that one, apparently. Okay. So that was Sydney, um, Melbourne, is it? Melbourne, Melbourne, uh, distribution, nope, wrong one. I'll press all the wrong buttons today. Uh, redesign, there we go, we're going to redesign you, like so. There we go, so hopefully that will help in sales. Um, how are we doing in Europe? We've pretty much got everywhere covered, haven't we? Um... Large quantities of people. There's a large quantity of people in Greece. Let's open a branch there. Um, Turkey, quite a large quantity. Oh, there is. We can open a branch there. We're going to make that branch JR Swift. I don't want to forget about them. Uh, branch, build branch. I might make both of them in Turkey, JR Swift. Why not? Why not indeed? Um, are these still small quantities of people? I say small. That one's quite a good one. We can build a branch there. Uh, eventually, we are going to have the entire area covered. So let's make that branch JR Swift. 
And let's go over to the States and see what we can do over there. Coming across. Hello, work. Wow, we've got a lot of the States covered, in all fairness. We've only got two to go. Hmm. What have we got down here? Any large quantities? There's a massive quantity of people. Uh, let's build a branch there. We are going to build a branch there. We're going to make that branch a Swift Motors. There we go. Um, we'll build a branch there. Why not? We're slowly sort of working our way down. And we'll build a branch there. And I'm going to make that one Swift Motors. There we go. Lovely. Let's go back to the office. We're going to go to Auto Commands. Because I will remember to sell cars through them. Um, branches. There we go. We are going to go apply to all, apply to all, apply to all, apply to all. You think if you got a branch, it would just automatically apply these? I'm loving the green numbers we got going on down there. Green is good. Means our, uh, our projects have made a profit. It's probably in recent years that we haven't made a profit. Which I can guarantee now. Nope, nope. Oh yeah, so it is only the super sports. Yet. Oh no, the kale hasn't made a profit. So the super sports and the kale are our issues. That's fine, we can deal with that. Uh, what's the newest thing coming out? Four slice sedan in two months. That's a new Tony, so let's go two months forward. We're going to get the new Tony out. And I suppose we could look at uh, doing a new model of vehicle. I don't know what yet, though. I do want to look at my stocks and shares, see how we're doing, if we can buy a company out. We've got £4.1 billion. We've got very little to worry about. We're still spending £39 million on R&D costs. That's fine. We can deal with that. Uh, we're spending... Yeah, we made £35 million profit. But we spent 39 million on costs, so that would have been a lot higher, I'd imagine. Um, Sales-wise, let's have a look. We're not missing out on any sales, which is nice. Um, the bull has jumped up to 23 a month. That's nice. I'm quite happy with that. Um, what else have we got going on? 3-3 three, three on the sacker. That's about average. Again, sales aren't jumping that much, considering how many branches we're opening. That's fine. We don't mind. Available shares notification in James Cars. Ooh. Research complete. Racing reports. Blah, 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 blah. Which we should hopefully get some good reports soon. Hopefully. Uh, let's go and have a look at our holdings. We're going to look at James Cars. We're going to purchase some shares. Like so. Which should give us... 52% of the company. Okay, so we can... This one's what we want, isn't it? Acquisition system allows us to take over a company by purchasing all of its common stocks at a premium. This means that the company will be fully in our control. How much would that cost me? At the minute... What have they got? 40 branches, 42 models... 48 components, four factories, marquee. What are they make? Do can we figure? Do we know what they're making? They've got a good equity going on there. Um, we could acquire the company. Acquiring cost would be 1.5 billion pound. Ooh, I'm tempted. I've got the money. I I've got the money. I could do that. Huh. Do you know I might? 42 models of cars. 48 component. This is a lot. Not being funny. If we look at... If we go back and look at us. Um, return. Can I see... No, I don't want Hodins. I want uh, that one. Does that tell us? No, it doesn't. Huh. 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 Restructure. What does that do? Uh, this button will allow us to restructure the company as a new company. It is here we can change the name, logo, and headquarters of our company. Oh. See, how are you doing, Swift? You've got great luxury image, good uh, quality image, poor racing image, which annoys me because you make sports cars. Overall prestige, good. I suppose they're not in the racing industry, though, are they? 
We could spin them off, in all fairness. But I quite like having them. They are our own little baby. Uh, they are part of the company. They've got 34 branches, 10 models. That's not bad. We've got 96 branches, 36 models. 36 models, 33 components. And what did the other one have? 40 something. So quite a lot more than us. I am tempted to go for it. Um, huh. Let's get our new car out on the market. So we're going to go branches. We're going to choose this one. The Tony. We're going to apply to all. Now this is a complete new generation of Tony. Where are you, Tony? Are you in here? I wish to see how you stack up. JR Tony S we're looking for. Oh, is this the new generation or is this... Yeah, no, it is a new generation. I'm sure it is. It's not a new trim. You're not in there, though, are you? That's fine. We'll just apply you to all for the time being. It's going to sell for £32,000. Let's go forward one month and see how it does. Hopefully well. We're hoping. We're at 4.0. I'm hoping 4.2. Oh, wow. We made some money then. Uh, total profits £50 million. Pound. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Uh, total expenditures. Blah, 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 blah. Sales are good. Uh, what have we got for the Tony? 1,417. So we sold as many of the Tony S as we did of the old Tony, which is brilliant. I'll take that any day. Um, both the super cars have gone up. We're on 25 and 24, which is nice. Um, anything else? Our reserves are selling down, which is good. I don't know why we have reserves in the first place. Uh, we've hit 3.4 with the Saka. Hmm. Gallo's being replaced, right? Tony is being replaced. Omic, we've got a new version. Just a new trim, if I remember correctly. Because it's still selling really well. It's selling better than some of the models that come later. Uh, so I didn't want to kill it off. Hmm. We should probably keep the Tony R. We can do some things, though, can't we, in here? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. We can... Modify. Ooh, we can modify vehicles, can we? What does that... I say that means that. Now, what did I do before? If I modified the engine, it gave me a different option, right? It gave me redesign. Rename, restart production. Oh, modifications here. So we could modify some of our engines if they're getting a bit slow. Uh, which they're not. It's not be funny. Our, well, the E11 needs a new version, really. Can we do a new, like a new generation of E11s? View engine. Redesign engine. This button will uh, reload the components for this engine and the sliders into the advanced designer system. This will allow you to tweak and modify the engine as you fe see fit. Okay, let's have a look down here. Um, power is 278. If I do a major modification, takes it up to 287. Four, two, so that goes up. Torque goes up a lot. Engine weight goes down. Fuel economy goes up. Estimated materials co costs go up. Of course they do. And this changes slightly, but not a lot. Wait. You, they think they can they can make it better with a three million pound budget, a four million pound budget. In all fairness, I'm sure they are. They can. Um, oh, you can refit the old designs. Okay. Ooh, we used a lot of cars with the E11, right? Wait, let me see. I'm going to go major modification. Refit old designs. I presume that means all our old cars get refitted with the new engine. Modify. Are you sure you want to make modifications? Yes, do it. I just want to see what happens. 
An old renovation of the, is being used in the following vehicles. You can retrofit the new revision into the older models, but we can automatically create a new generation of trim or trim. No, can you not retrofit the new revision into the... We can also replace and duplicate production, distribution and marketing automatically for you. Select your vehicle from the list and select which action you wish. Ooh, so you could do a new generation like this. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This button is to automatically create a new generation of the selected vehicle. This vehicle, this new design will use the slider values and components of the old design. It will then automatically replace the selected vehicle's production, distribution, and marketing once the development is done. I was saying, this makes it nice and easy, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't want to do that, though, so... Do I? New generation and replace. It's not going to improve the engine that much, is it? Yeah, do it. Um, we've successfully retrofitted. Excellent, we're going to do it for all of them. Um... Elvis Mio was doing well. I don't know if this is going to do any good to our sales. The Saka, this will be the one that's interesting. Because the Saka is using this. New generation and replace. New generation and replace. So. Let's see what that does for. Is that all going to come up on here now? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. I may have messed up there. I don't know. Let's go forward one month and see. I think they're probably going to carry on selling the old ones till the new one's ready. It may have put our, our R&D costs up dramatically. Yes, so it's still selling. The sack is selling 3.4. Lovely. They are remaking all these then, I presume. Elvis, Mio, Tweed, Saka. Yeah, how long are they going to take? Months to do. Wow. Um... We made 133 million pounds, so that's not bad. I'll take that. Let's have a look at sales. I'm going to go district sales just to quickly have a look. Um, so we're selling 33,000 units across the world. Europe and North America is doing really well. South America hasn't really taken off yet. And Australia hasn't really taken off yet. I wonder if we get factories in those areas, it will do better. That might be an option, because maybe they don't want to pay the shipping costs. Huh. I'm going to test this theory on um, Australian here. I'm going to build a factory. I presume we'll go 18 lines technology. We should have the best technology, really. Construction cost, 201 million pounds. Should be finished by 1975. That's going to take a long time. Um, what happens? That'll be finished by when? 1973. Okay, that's not too bad. Overall looks good. If I put that up, it's going to go up again, isn't it? 1974, 1973. So the earliest we can do is 1973. So we might as well go around there. Um, full production cost, 4 million. Mod I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. We're going to see if this improves sales by having a factory there. So let's build a factory. I don't know if it will. This might go terribly wrong. I think we should probably have a... a branch in New Zealand as well so let's do that ready New Zealand's not very populated at the moment but it will be eventually there we go lovely um, what are you you're 196 not great three seven oh seven's all right we can build a branch there let's do that we're going to make that a JR Swift branch uh what else have we got nine f yeah let's do one there we're gonna build that thank you oh look at that we'll do that as well lovely uh we need to go through all of these i bet there's some good ones over here 
There is. There's, there's that one's a good one. Let's do that. We're going to put that under the swift name. There we go. We've done a few more branches, which means we have to go through the whole rigmarole of going apply to all, apply to all, apply to all, apply to all, apply to all. There we go. Lovely. We're just going down the list now. I'm guessing we're still missing out. Is there any more supercars on the market? How are they making them so cheap? We are the, the dearest on the market, but we are the best as well, actually, in all fairness. And we're taking a massive loss on these. £164 million, £166. Uh, but I do want to make... See, I've lost track of what I was doing now. Apply to all. 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 We're just going to keep applying to all. I'm sure we got to this point, but we're going to keep going up. We are making loads of money on our projects at the moment. Yeah, I'm sure we did those. There we go. So that should hopefully get sales going in on there. What have we got coming up? Uh, three months, we've got the new model of the Gallo Fable. Uh, which is a replace. Five months is the new trim of the Omic. Plus some of the other new generations of vehicles. See, that's a good way of doing it. New generations of vehicles. I never considered doing that. Like, doing it in like that. So you just upgrade the engine a bit and then replace. It's probably not going to do great for sales. I wouldn't think, but we will find out. So that's going to be three months, did I say? So let's skip forward three months. I have absolutely no idea what sort of car to design today. Because we have got a few cars going on. Um, we should probably look at contracts at some point as well. We are missing out on sales there. But I've very much been focusing the last couple of episodes on getting a decent racing car up together for the different races. So we've definitely got the new endurance car coming out. That'll be really good. And then we've got the other set of engines, which I don't think have been done yet. We do have an award. Wow. Congratulations. We won the following awards. Best four-size sedan in the entire world, the JR Motors Tony S. Uh, best supercar in the entire world, again, for the second year running, uh, the Bull. Bull by name, bull by nature. Vehicle of the year in the entire world is the Tony S. Wow, the Tony is doing really well. I'm loving getting these uh, these trophies every year. Looks really good on us. Stock reports, yeah. New contract requests, new competition. Uh, folding racing series, okay. Stock reports, locations, available shares, blah, blah, blah. Get rid of those. So we have... Wait, 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 wait. So the new car that... Our new S has just wiped the competition away, in all fairness. Let's go down to the S and see what it sold. 1.4. That's not bad. The, t the old tone is selling really well as well, in all fairness. So hopefully we'll see a boost on that. With the, the trophy under its hat. The bull, sh we should see a boost on. That's the second year it's won um, best supercar. Which isn't bad for a car that's a couple of years old. Not, when was the ball made? 1970. And what are we in now? 71. So yeah, two years old. Um, what have we got coming up? We've got two months till the new Gallo comes out. Huh. Where's our engines and that? that? What are they doing? They're coming in six months, nine months, and six months. So a little bit of time for that. Our new... Racing car. Um, where is it? The Slayer. That's going to be a while, isn't it? 12 months yet. So, yeah, not great on that. How's our money doing? 4.2. I'm really tempted to buy. Do you know what? Let's go forward. Let's go forward two months and release the new Swift. And then... Or I might go forward four months. We'll do the, the two months and then the other two months. And that'll get all the new sort of remade vehicles out. And then we'll look at buying that other company. 
I'll probably keep the other company for a while like I did with the other one and then eventually let it go off on its own. Um, customers wish to renew their contracts. Yep, carry on. That's not a problem. Oh, wait a minute. What are you... What are you... Oh, too late now. What have we got? The Cobra, Cobra, Lamba, Kale. So that's my racing series. Um, and the Swift Gale. That's fine. We're not replacing that, are we? Are we? Are we replacing the Gale? I don't think so. What's ready to go out? Uh, branches. Swift Gallo Fable. There we go. Uh, we are going to release that. That is going to sell for three thirty-two thousand pounds. Uh, unit cost is 21,000, so that's a nice little profit on that. So we're going to apply that to all. Hopefully it does very well. We didn't check the review on our award-winning Tony because I just figured it was great because it won an award. So if we go to the Tony, we have got um, 0 to 60. Where are you? 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds with a top speed of 156 miles per hour. I will take that. Um, easily one of the most dependable vehicles ever. Oh, I like that. Uh, the strongest selling point is the exceptional sense of luxury. Oh, we've got luxury. It's doing well. It's one of the best full-size sedans on the market. I like that. Now, let's have a look at the Gable... F the Gallo Fable. Sorry. Gallo Fable. Okay. On the track, this baby can do 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds with a top speed of 171 miles per hour. It's got the feeling of luxury inside, which is nice. Uh, long term, I'd imagine it'll be a rare to find a JR Swift Gallo Fable in repair shops or even junkyards. These things are well built with quality parts. That's what we like. That is the image we're going for. When you drive the JR Swift Fable, you'll see other sports on the road and think to yourself, why would anyone else buy that? And there we go. I'm happy with those reviews. Let's see how it does. Um, we'll skip forward one month just to see how the new um, Gallo Fable, is that what it was? <laughs> I've already forgotten. Um, we're going to go from £4.4 billion pound up to, hopefully up to, I'm praying it goes up. Because I'm spending on, I'm planning on spending a lot of money in the next couple of minutes. Army Project Pilot. Um, that's a Swift Gale. Which is fine, you're... Yeah, you're fine. You're not being renewed. So, the new Gallo sold 1,230 units. The Tony has gone up to 1,500 units, which is good. This Tony is sort of dying down. This one's going up. That's the idea. Uh, the Gallo, 1,230 units. I think that's a good amount for its first month sale. Um, the old Gallo is still beating it, but hopefully people will get encouraged over here because we are going to have to kill off these otherwise we're just going to have too many vehicles going on uh we've got one month on most of these and two months on the others so if we skip forward two months all the new items should be done which should clear our catalog back catalog and we can take over that other company i think that's a good idea we're going to go from 4.4 .4 to 4.5 billion pound I love the fact the money is just rolling in. We've got no issues with money at the moment. And I'm starting to take over companies, which is one thing I've always wanted to do. Take out the competition. Yes, they are competition. They are still out there because I'm releasing them back into the, the world as a company. But they're owned by me. So that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the tweet. Oh, wow. Look at these sales. So we've got for the first month of sales for the Elvis Mio, four... 0.2 thousand uh, which is stop sales up here of the Mio um, the Tweed sold 4.2 thousand the Gallo Fable 1.2 again so those two those two sedans just upgrading those was the perfect choice uh, the Tony S is 1.5 if we go up here 1.3 so that's good they've switched over uh, Gallo Fable again the old Gallo is doing better so is it going to kill off the Mio's and that, the old ones? Because it doesn't seem to be. I've got a Mio there and a Mio there. I've got a Tweed there and... Oh, no Tweed up here. 
Okay, so maybe it's just kept the Mio because we've got a back catalog of reserves. We've got reserves in those. So, let's have a look. We have replaced uh, refit models. We have replaced refit models. That's fine. We have replaced. We have replaced. Stock report, available shares, monthly racing report. I don't even know why I look at those. Research complete. So much going on here. Uh, delete all of those. That should have made this a lot better. Yeah, we've got one month on our GT engines, which is lovely. Um, or one month on... What is that? That is a bobby. So we've just sort of refreshed our engines. Now, before the episode is up, I really want to get over here. So we're going to go to Hodins. We're going to go to James, which we own quite a lot. Is there any shares available to purchase? 72 million. Now, will that reduce the amount it costs me to buy them? I'm going to say yes. Um, so if we go acquisition... This means that the company will be fully in our control. It's going to cost us... 2.1 billion pound. What? That's gone up, hasn't it? Has that gone up? I'm sure that's gone up. Do you know what? I'm going to do it though. Let's do it. Acquire company. We bought another company that is less competition for us. If you want to see how we get along with those, join me in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this episode at all, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. It does really help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.